candles to remind us that God is always with us and then we'll put it in a safe place so we don't knock it over. Now then, has anybody got a wiggly tummy today? What about some wiggly shoulders? What about wiggly elbows? Have we got wiggly elbows? Have we got some wiggly ears? And wiggly hair, who's got wiggly hair? Oh, it's a bit wiggly today. And have we got some wiggly lip? Can we make a wiggly, wiggly lip go funny like that? And then, shall we take our wiggly fingers and shall we put our wiggly fingers together with a great big clap? And then we'll say our prayer. Everyone is special to God. So thank you, God, for work and play and everyone who's here today. Are we ready? Amen! What a great big amen, everybody. Well done. Now, can you remember? Can we think back? Oh, it was such a long time ago. We were talking about Jesus and his friends and all the things that they did after Easter, after Jesus had risen again. Can you remember they went to the beach and had breakfast? And they went up a tall mountain and Jesus gave them a special thing to do. He told them to go into the whole world and tell everybody everywhere how much he loved them and how to be part of God's family and how to follow him. And what else did he do? He gave them a promise. He promised that he would always be with them even though he wasn't there in his person, he would always be with them because he would send the Holy Spirit. And so, do we remember that the disciples had to wait? And they waited, and they waited, 
and they waited. They waited for 10 days. Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten days they waited for. And then when they were waiting on the tenth day and they were all gathered together, and what they were doing was they were chatting and they were listening and they were watching and they were praying. While they were doing those things, and they were waiting. It was really quiet. And suddenly there was a loud noise. Now, we're going to see if we can work out what that loud noise might be. So I've got some things down here. Can you see my things? Here we've got, oh, what do we do with this? Do you know what you do with this? You have to blow into it. Are we ready? It's a bit like a flute, isn't it? We blow into that. Now, what have I got here? Oh, can you see? I've got a windmill. What happens when we blow on it? Oh, it goes round and round, doesn't it? There we go. Now what happens if we have a really hot, hot cup of tea or some hot dinner, what do our mums and our dads say to us? Do they say blow on it to make it colder, to blow it, to cool it down, don't we? What else have we got? Hmm. I've got some water and a straw. Can we blow through the straws and make bubbles? We can, can't we? All these things blow, don't they? Shall we try this one? Look, this is a fan. Are we ready? Might get blown away. Can you see? Blow my hair. It's blowing the air through. Now, what is the, all of those things? What's the word that I've been using for all of them? Does anybody remember? Can anybody hear? It's blow, that's right. The Jesus' friends were waiting and waiting and they were really quiet. And suddenly there was a really loud noise and it sounded like the wind blowing through the room. It was so loud that they put their hands over their ears and they wondered where on earth it had come from. And they looked around, shocked. And do you know what happened when they looked around? They saw what looked like candle flames on the tops of everybody's heads. How very strange. Can we make a candle flame? Can we do that on our heads? Make it like a candle flame. And when they looked around, they saw everybody had got a, like a candle flame. It wasn't a real one. It was just pretend. And they thought, there was a loud wind and we look like we've got candle flames on top of our heads. I wonder what's happening. And then they had an amazing feeling. They felt very peaceful and calm and relaxed. And they knew that the Holy Spirit had come to be with them. And when, when they felt like this, they started talking to each other. But they weren't talking in their own language. They weren't speaking like we can speak English to each other, can't we? They were talking in different languages. And do you know what happened? They went outside and were talking in these languages to all the people that were outside. And these people understood what they were saying. How very strange. Because the Holy Spirit had given them a gift. They'd, he'd helped them to talk in a language that all the people outside the room would understand so that they would hear about God and God's love. So do you remember that promise that Jesus gave, told them when he told them to go into the whole world to tell everybody how to be in God's family? Well, all of Jesus' friends that day were able to tell everybody in Jerusalem, all the different people who spoke different languages, 
they were able to tell them all about God's love and how to be part of God's family because the Holy Spirit had come and filled them. Now the best thing about the Holy Spirit is that not just for those disciples then, when we love God and when we ask Jesus to be our very special friend, the Holy Spirit comes to us as well and helps us to show other people how much God loves them. Shall we sit quietly for a minute now? We might like to hold our hands out and while, like the disciples did while they waited, we might like to put our hands together as if we're praying. Shall we do that? And let's just be still, as still as we can be and as quiet as we can be. And then I'm going to say a prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for that promise that we wouldn't ever be on our own, but that the Holy Spirit would come and be with us. And we pray now that you would come, Holy Spirit, and fill us up so that we can tell other people and show other people how much you love them. And we ask you to do this in your name. Amen. Should we say a big amen? Are you ready? Amen. Well done. Now we're going to sing. We're going to sing a different song. We haven't sung this song before. Not on Little Wills. But it's very easy because it tells you what to do in the song. So if you listen to the words and to watch what I'm doing, you have to do some clapping and some stamping of your feet and some nodding of your head. It's not very complicated. Are we ready? Let's
ready. Ready with a one minute.